In this lesson, we're going to look at one of the most fundamental concepts in Python, and that is variables and data types. So if you have ever used a storage box to try and keep your things organized, think of variables as these labeled boxes where we store different kinds of information in Python. So by the end of this session, you're going to understand how variables work and the different data types and how to use those data types in your programs. So first, what are variables? A variable is a name that refers to the value that is stored in memory. So if a value that is stored in memory, we refer to that as a variable. And this is ideally how we represent that with an address in the value. So the address is where it is stored in memory. So think of it as a container that holds some data. And these variables help us store, manipulate, and also retrieve values during uh, a program execution. To try and see what uh, this sort of looks like, we're going to write some code here. And uh, to declare a variable, you need to name the name of the variable. So you type in, you need to type in the name. In this case, I'll just say name, like for the name of a person. Then use this equal sign, but in Python, we don't refer to it as an equal sign. We refer to it as an assignment operator because it doesn't signify equality when you're using it. So it is an assignment operator. So we're going to assign it uh, a statement, a string that is called Alice. Now, this, when you enclose any statement, anything in speech marks, we refer to that as a string. So in this case, what you're doing is we're storing a string. So a string is a data type. And you can also have age as a variable name. Then you assign it a value, 25. Now, 25 is the age of this person, but now 25 as a data type, 25 is an integer. The same applies to many others. So in terms of variable declaration, so for example, if you want to a uh, height of a person, so we'll just have height. Height is a variable name. Then height of a person could be maybe 5.6. And this in form of a data type, 5.6 is a floating point value, or we just call it a float. Then you can also represent Boolean values. So Boolean values, for example, you are you want to check whether someone is a student. So you can have a is student as then the variable name, then you give it a Boolean value. So Boolean value can be either it's either true. Or false, true or false. So true in this case, this is a boolean, a boolean value, and this is how ideally vari variables work. But when you're dealing with variables, there are a number of things that you need to always think about. For example, we have a number of rules that dictate how we name variables in Python. But one of those rules is that whenever you're declaring a variable, you must start with a letter. So if you are going to start with a letter, a letter from A to Z, that could be uh, and then, or you can also start with an underscore, but you can never start with a number. So for example, here, if I save this and I try to, actually, let's try and print some statement here. So we can print, uh, you can, we can print a variable. So whenever you're using the print statement, you don't always have to type in the statement directly inside the print statement. You can declare a variable, assign it a statement, and then print that variable. So that variable is the one that contains that statement. For example, now you want to print name, we can just print the name variable that we have there. And once we save and run this code, our uh, file is called variables.py. Now you see it has printed Alice down here. Now, if we go ahead and try to name this starting with a number, so let's say you start with one, then we save. You see already Z has already noted this as an error. So if you go ahead and run this again, it tells us that we have a syntax uh, a syntax error, invalid decimal literal. So what this means is we just need to get rid of that. So naming conventions of variables always start with a letter or an underscore, but you can never start with a number. Then your variable name can contain letters, it can contain numbers, it can contain underscores. For example, here you can see we have is student. So for even, even age, you can have this as age one. Then you can also go ahead and declare age two, then give it, an, give it, give it another value like that. So you can still use numbers. Uh, also, you can uh, when you're using Python, uh, Python to rather than declaring variables in Python, you cannot use a Python keyword. So Python keywords, uh, keywords. We're going to look at many of these. There's a library of keywords uh, in Python. You can check in the Python uh, documentation. But a statement like if, for, while, 
print uh, the function here. These are already inbuilt keywords. These are reserved keywords that are already used in the Python language. So when you're declaring your variables, you cannot use those uh, keywords. You have to find your own. Then uh, Python is case sensitive. Uh, that is one of the major, major things that you need to understand about Python. So in Python, for example, right now, we have name as a variable. Uh, remember, you can always, you can start naming your variable with even an, an uppercase. So you use name, then you give it a name like, let's say Jack Doe is the name. If we do this, the two variables, name, the ones that start with lowercase, and name, the one that start with uppercase, these are two different variables. So if you come here, you see your printing name, and I'd also like to print the other name. And if I run this code, uh, let me just reduce the size of our terminal so you can see everything. So if I run this, you see it says uh, Alice and also Jake Doe. It does not print the same thing because these two are different, uh, different variables. So Python is case sensitive. There, there are other ways that you can try and understand uh, this. a lot of these other data types in Python. For example, uh, we've talked about integers. So this is an integer, like 25. Ideally, whole numbers are integers. Then uh, decimal numbers, the ones that have decimals, we refer to them as floating point values. Strings are uh, any type of text, but also if you have a number and you enclose that number in, a speech, in speech marks like this, uh, this quotation marks, this now becomes a string. This is no longer a number. This is a string. Uh, the, there are also other others we're going to be looking at. Later on in the, in the sessions, we're going to look at lists, we're going to look at tuples, dictionaries, and we're going to look at sets. All of these, they help us store our data uh, really well. Now, whenever you, if you're, if you're uncertain about the name or rather the the variable, uh, the type of a variable, the type of data that you're dealing with, you, you can you can try and check that. So to check for a data type in Python, what you need to do, for example, if you want to check for data type for this, there is a type function in Python. It's already inbuilt into Python. So you have to, you, you type in type. So you enclose your variable, your variable name with type. And if you save and run this, you see, it tells us that this is a string. So str refers to a string. So this is telling us it's a string. So whenever you're uncertain about the the, the data type, rather, try and uh, use this to check that. Then you can, there's also type conversion in Python. Or we also refer to that as type casting. So I'll just uh, refer to it as type casting or type, uh, type conversion. So sometimes you need to convert uh, a data type from one data type to another. And Python allows for explicit type conversion. So an example is if we have, let's have, let's have a number. Uh, so we have a number and I'll, I'm, I'm going to call it num underscore str, should be an M here. Num underscore str, like number string. And then I'm going to have a number but in form of a string. So if you do this, then this number uh, is this is a string right now again that refers a number but it is a string in terms of a data type we can convert this string into an integer how we can do that i'm going to just declare another variable and i'll call it num int uh, so that uh, that is going to refer to as number number integer then i'll take int int is what you mean to as a representation of an integer so an integer is a whole number like 34 is an integer and then i'll pass in the number string that we have so num underscore str when it, when it when i pass this in here and we hit save now what we're going to do is we're going to print uh, we're going to print this we're going to print the num int num underscore int and when you're printing it i'd like us to just check the, the data type so we use the type function to check for that now, if we run our code again, you see we get, uh, we are told that the class is, it is an integer. So here it is referring to the one in line 14. Initially, it was, an, it was a string. Now it is an integer. You can do the same in, in terms of type casting. You can type cast, for example, a floating point value. You can, you can, can type cast it into an integer. Let's say we have a float number. So let's call it float num. And our float number is 4.8, right? 
then for us to type cast this, I'm going to have another variable, just call it int num, and we'll take int uh, for integer and pass in float num here. Float underscore num should be an underscore. Float underscore num. If we do this and we try to print uh, int num now, we will see how it changes. We can also you can also see check for the data type directly. But if we run this, you see now it is not four point eight anymore. We're getting four. This is because we've converted the floating point uh, value to an integer, and this is what you've done here, converting a float into a number. So this is basically it on variables and data types. There's still a lot more that we're going to be learning as we get into the session on how we can be able to manipulate all this further. But as a challenge uh, from this, what you've done so far is we are, we are basically hard coding the values. So we are coding a value like Alice to the variable, the variable here name. We are coding the 5.6 to the variable height. A challenge that I have for you is to go ahead and find out how you can be able to take input from a user. So how do you get input direct from a user? So it's such that a user can go ahead and type in, uh, type in, type in some text, then they they're able to get a certain certain input or output from your program. Once you figure that out, uh, then I have a task, an extra task for you uh, before you proceed to the next lesson. And the task that I have for you is on how, to, how you can be able to use the input that you've, that you've mentioned. So you are going to ask for a user to give you their name, their age and favorite number. Then you'll print a message using these values that they, they have shown you. You can uh, basically convert their favorite number into float and print its type. Ideally, all these other operations that you've done. And that is going to be your challenge for today. If you've already done that up to this point, uh, awesome job. You now understand variables in data types in Python. And next we're going to go ahead and look at uh, some other operations and expressions that we can do in Python. And I'll see you on that one.